Hi everybody, this is Alex again. This is my second attempt of um, replicating a carpent cell and this time I'm uh, focusing on creating a much smaller cell. Um, why? Because I wanted to see what sort of effect does that have on uh, how much power output we have on the voltage and uh, the amps. And not only that, uh, last time when I've done uh, the, the, the carbon cell, it was in a half a liter of, um, of water plus sodium bicarbonate and uh, with pretty big amount of um, pretty large surface uh, for of the aluminium and well activated carbon we can't really compute the surface of that but it's <laughs> that that's got quite quite a big surface anyway um, this time I've thought okay let's uh, let's do one whereby um, we have a little bit of aluminium a little bit of um, activated carbon we still have the same electrolyte but it's airtight so we should have no other evaporation and the uh, the figures that uh, we're getting now uh, I'm gonna try and uh, see how uh, how different they would be in the morning um, last time I've noticed um, a big big uh, power um, increase uh, basically uh, due to the amps the amps went up uh, almost uh, twice and I feared it might have had a little bit to do with uh, you know aluminum carbon uh, aluminum air type of um, battery instead of just the carbon ther thermal effect um, okay and let me show you what I've done here okay guys so here it is um, this is a small 250 cc uh, bottle uh, 250 milliliters uh, more accurately said and you can see the aluminium foil that I've uh, basically rolled up uh, just like uh, you would a scroll I've just scrolled it up inserted it and basically uh, un, uh, uh, unscroll it so that it would fit uh, as nicely to the um, uh, to the uh, edge of the um, of the bottle. I've also left a strip basically that goes all the way up and on the inside basically what we've got is a sponge all right um, this is where the um, harsher surface is and basically what I've done I've um, cut that and in in the middle of it and in the middle of it I just uh, placed the activated carbon and fixed the uh, pencil uh, graphite inside. Um, it's been suggested that I should uh, change from the copper wire, stripped copper wire to collect the, the, the electrical charges uh, to um, carbon uh, rod. Well, I don't know if you can see it um, very uh, clearly, but there is uh, basically a pencil lead, well, which is made out of graph uh, graphite um, all the way through. That goes all as much as I could basically uh, drive it to the bottom of the, uh, the sponge. The sponge is basically wrapped in uh, in a string, I don't know if you can see it, um, and it's basically just like a sewing string. Um, okay, and this is how much, um, how many volts I'm getting out of it, so it's 0.4 volts, and it's going a little bit, it's climbing very slowly, it's basically fluctuating a bit. Okay, and um, well, this is the setup that I wanted to use on it. Um, this is basically just an old um, garden light, you know, one of those solar lamps, and um, that's one that <laughs> basically is just a solar cell that survived out of a different one. And this is, well, most most people can call that a jewel set, but basically, it's just a step up transformer and plus a um, LED light bulb over here um, I'm gonna I was about to hook up the uh, the cell to um, to that and see if it works and then I realized that uh, it only uh, starts um, doing its magic if it, if it actually gets um, around about one volt up and as you can see we're only getting 0.4 volts up 
and um, LEDs don't don't really need a lot of uh, amps to run. So uh, even if we um, even if I get maybe uh, two or three cells like that in uh, series, um, I'll be able to light up that LED non-stop. Hopefully, um, well. I couldn't get my uh, my hands on uh, aluminium uh, uh, chloride uh, to replace the uh, the electrolyte with uh, a salt of um, aluminium chloride and water, a nice uh, little solution like that. Um, and I'm still using uh, sodium bicarbonate. Hopefully, by the end of the of the week, I'll be able to um, replace that with um, aluminium chloride and see what goes on in there. Um, well folks, this, uh, well, I should be actually showing you how many milliamps we're getting to. Let's have a look. So... Yeah, well, it will probably stabilize around uh, 20 milliamps. Or that's what I'm expecting anyway. Yeah, it's getting there. Yep, probably in the morning will be it will be a little bit different as well. So, um, I'll come back in and uh, fill you in in uh, how that does overnight. Well, have a nice evening guys. Bye bye.